Hey folks, today we're going to take a peek at the back end of SEMrush. That's S-E-M-Rush at S-E-M-Rush.com. This is uh, one of the big, big guys out there as far as SEO, social media, software, uh, PPC. It tracks all of that. So uh, I'm just going to quickly scroll through the their homepage here as uh, I tell you about what we're going to do here. Now I can't really give you a thorough overview of all the things that SEMrush does because it does so many things it would take me a hundred hours to show you. Plus I really don't know everything that this software does. I only use it for uh, a handful of things. Alright so let's go ahead and log into the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can easily punch in a competitor's domain and learn a lot of information about them. So here we are, we are kind of in the main dashboard. I'll give you a quick peek at this. The main dashboard looks like this. Um, there's all these different tools. You can punch in your clients or your own website and get all these different insights and statistics to work with. But what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this up here, this main report area. I'm going to put in a domain, uh, just a generic fishing charter in Alaska, and we're going to go search for that and we are going to get a domain overview of this. Let's say this is one of our competitors, right? And so we're going to find out if they're doing any paid advertising, who's backlinking to them, what type of organic traffic are they getting, what keywords are they ranking for. And so here we have it right in front of us. So they get some good traffic, you know, 800, almost 900 to 1,000 every month. No paid search traffic, though they do have one display ad apparently out there. And um, 250, 260 backlinks. Here's a paid versus organic little graphic. Kind of shows you that, yeah, they are starting to hit some traffic here. So over the past year or so, they must have been doing some work uh, to increase their rankings. We're scrolling down here. Here are the top organic keywords that they rank for. This is really good information. In fact, I'm going to click on this because if this were my competition, I'd want to know what they're ranking for and how well they're doing at it so that I can start using those keywords myself and try to outrank them. So maybe there's some positioning that I can do there. So great. So here we go. We can see all the keywords that they're ranking for. And if we can, if we want to, we can uh, we can filter these. I'm just going to make this a uh, the position rankings one through whatever. So uh, Alaska Fishing Charters, they rank number one for that. AK Fishing Charters, they rank number two. So you can get an idea of these things. So if you were a fishing tour and um, you were maybe ranked at 13th and something, you could go into their site and realize, well, what are they doing that's making them rank higher than me if uh, you're ranked 13th and let's say they're ranked number five. Okay, cool. Let me go back to the overview page of this domain. And we're going to continue looking at some of the stuff we're getting in here. We got some good information. We have information oh, about their competitors, right? And so here's their main organic competitors right here, a list of them. Always good to know. Sometimes you find surprises in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. They give you a, a position map. This is kind of fun. This is basically uh, the number of keywords that they're ranking for over here. And this is your organic traffic that goes to their site. So you can get an idea of who's doing uh, what comparatively comparative to you. And here is the or, your organic competitors, right? And so you can go through this list and see if there's anyone in here that maybe you didn't realize was there as a competitor, as well as um, people you know who they are. And you can click on them. And you can learn more about how they rank and what their keywords are. So you find new competitors. You stick them in the uh, the research tab. And start digging. It's a gold mine of information. So let me go. Let's see what else am I going to show you here. So we did the main competitors, the organic keywords, like this right here. Just this little area here. Lots of information. Sometimes, if it's a lesser-known domain, they might not have any paid research info. And here is another mother load of information: the backlinks that come to your site. So you can actually see who's backlinking to you. Or if this is a competitor, see who's backlinking to them. And if someone is backlinking to them and you, they're not backlinking to you, maybe there's an opportunity there for you to get a couple new backlinks. And so here's a list of all the ones that are 
backlinking to them. It has the pages they're backlinking from, the anchor text they're using. It lets you know uh, um, this is a, a, a kind of a scoring system that lets you know if it's a low score, then they're either not handing you very good. Uh, if it's a low scoring site on this column, then their li their link to you may not be as good as a higher scoring site. It doesn't carry as much uh, Google juice or whatever you want to call that, right? If it gets too low on this side, it could actually be a toxic link, in which case you'd probably want to disavow it. All right, let me go back to the da domain overview. Cool, now we're back at the main domain overview page. I'm going to go ahead and click on, they don't have much ads, but if someone, if your competitor has a lot of advertising, you, you'll be able to peek at what they're what their ads are right now these guys only have one ad so it's not going to be a lot of information but if my competitor had 12 ads out there i could get a lot of information about what their ads are doing and i would even get a sneak peek at their ads and this ad is um you get a little sample ad here it's not that great of an ad so if you wanted a client <laughs> these guys might need a little help with their ppc All right, well, that's pretty much it. That's, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of all the stuff that's in here. You can dig and dig and dig into this. You can take these domains and you can put them into a, a domain comparison place and uh, stack them up against each other and see which ones have shared domains and which ones, uh, which domains, uh, not shared domains, but shared keywords and all sorts of information. This is, a, a, again, this is a super tool f with overwhelming amounts of information and data that you can get. Anyways, that's a sneak peek at SEMrush in the back end. Uh, like I said, it's one of the big ones. It's one of the most expensive ones, but it also is one of the most robust ones. Hey, if you like this overview, give us a like and a follow. We'd love it. If you got any questions, put them down in the comments below. Or if you have any feedback, have you used SEMrush? Do you like it? We'd love to hear your uh, impressions of this software. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.